Kona. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I'd like to thank the Honorable Member for her very good speech and my colleague behind me for an excellent speech before. Um, I commend my colleagues for standing and speaking to this issue. And as they are mentioning, Mr. Speaker, it's not just the new Democratic members of Parliament that are raising it, it's the oil patch based in Calgary. They are calling on this government to provide greater clarity on what the definition of net benefit. How is the government making this decision? This government voted unanimously to undertake the review that our former leader called for, and it was to do specifically what the, the member called for. Um, I would like the member to advise if she agrees with what the oil patch lawyers are calling for, and that is that this review be held up until it be more closely scrutinized, and that the criteria, at least it's there now, be properly applied, which doesn't appear to be the case. Great question. Honorable member for Rivière de Millil. I would like to thank my colleague for her question. And uh, we have to remember, as she said, that in 2010, further uh, to uh, the uh, fact that the Potash Corp takeover was uh, refused by the HP Billiton was refused, the government, uh, it is in its best interest to clarify the uh, concept of net benefit because we still don't have a clear definition. So I'm wondering uh, why the Conservative government does not keep that promise. My colleague also raised another very important point, which is that investors themselves want clarity around this issue. So I uh, support her comments wholeheartedly, and I thank her for her question. Questions and comments? Uh, the Honourable Member.